What's good guys man, thank you for tuning back into the channel man If you're new, make sure you hit that sub button down below to be notified of every single video that I drop Do it! Just came from working out man I feel good, I look good And as you can see by the title As you can see what they say My testimony of seeing the devil and Jay-Z While heading to hell And he was puffing on that, puffing on that You know what I'm saying? And um we ain't gonna waste no time, man. I need y'all to really, really hit that like button for real, for real, because it really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, please hit that bell to turn on all notifications. That's all I need y'all to do for me. When I drop a video, them views should be going up, man. We on the road to 12k. My goal for real this year is to get 100k. Somehow, some way, I want to do that. You know. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I may not work the whole, watch the whole video. It's 32 minutes. We we don't know, but we are gonna see. Let's get into it. What's up, YouTube? Um, my name is Miles McClendon, and I just want to share my testimony about how I came to Christ through seeing the devil and the hip hop music. And I saw a lot of different things, but primarily that is what led me to giving my life over to Christ. I want to I want to say thank you to everybody who has shared their testimony of some type of supernatural experience because it's encouraged me to do the same and to be obedient to God and to and to share to share our stories of what happened of what really happens in the spirit because it's more real than the natural realm. And so I was 18 years old because I want to get right into it. I'm 34 now. I was 18, it was 2006. I was at Wayne State University and I was with a lot of bad influences. I didn't smoke weed, I didn't do any of those things, but once I turned 18, I started. And I started a lot. And things started happening to me as I was smoking weed. Uh, so the first time uh, we were all, it was me and a, a lot of friends, we Believe it or not, I have never puffed a puff. Never in my life. All in my um, dorm room after we had smoked, and I had a computer in my in my um, in my room, and we would play music, and it would just you know be loud. It's on the weekend, everybody could play the music, and when it was playing while I was high, I started to dance uncontrollably, and I did not have say on what I would do. It was like control of my body. It was I was possessed. And I was telling my friends because I was about to start crying. I'm like, yo, I don't have control of my body. Wow. I'm like, hey, cut the music off. And you wow. know, they laughing. They must put something and in there. Finally, they cut the music off and I got control of my body again. And so I thought, you know, I brushed it off like that was a, a crazy experience, but we smoked again and we in my room again. And this time, my friend starts to he starts to to dance and he can't stop dancing and he's saying miles i know what you're talking about um i can't stop dancing he's like cut the music off and so i went and i cut the music off now mind you when we would dance the people that were around us would become entranced they would be they would be so spellbound by what we by what we did because it wasn't us there was there was there was the presence of demons literal demons that were that were seducing spirits that would entrance people to where they could watch us dance for hours and i want to i want to emphasize that because it would take some time for me to finally get to say that i'm not in control it would take some time because when you're high you don't have a real good measure on the time everything seems like longer it's like slow motion is that true guys i don't know is that true what he's saying is that true does the time seem slower when you're doing that comment down below right now it's like you go into the into the eternal realm and and, and it's you know time is is relative it can seem longer shorter but for some reason time smoking it seem like slow motion everything was slow motion mm. and so this last time we smoked, 
we decided to go over my my friend's apartment and they had like a bachelor pad and i call this the straw that that broke the camel's back because they had two or three blunts and i i would smoke a couple uh i'll take a couple hits and i would be i'll be done but this particular time they had this big couch and a big screen tv surround sound it was a, a true bachelor pad and they had two or three um blunts and they they rolled them around and i was i was i was done i was stuck and um all of a sudden my eyes went out of focus they they blurried and i i couldn't see and then they focused when they when they refocused I had 2020 vision and I wear glasses and I had 2020 vision and I could zoom in and zoom out. It was crazy. And I looked down at the carpet and the carpet, the carpet started swirling. It started swirling and then it changed into this beautiful portrait. I'm talking about. I ain't gonna lie. It sounds like they they put some in there. They laced it with some. He on the shrooms. I don't I don't know what it is, but whatever he got, they put some in there. I mean, I heard that you know doing doing you know what I'm saying. The D word. Uh, it's a gateway to open up demonic doors and whatnot. That's what I heard, and I heard that you know the W word W E E D. Um, <clears throat> it's a, it's a, it's a gateway, but it just sounds like that just not like your normal stuff that you would puff. You know what I'm saying? But he has a crazy story. It's something I haven't seen to this day. It looked like it was like an ancient art or something like that. And a voice came to my ear and said, you can draw this and you can be rich and famous. You can trace this. All you have to do is get high every day. And I was like, I'm tripping. Whatever, whatever this voice is, it made me deeply afraid because I haven't drawn or told anybody that I could draw. And I have a love for drawing in such a long time that it made me understand that something has been studying me for a long time. It has been waiting for the perfect opportunity to present this because it was a real temptation. It was a real temptation. That's the thing about that word is that it's not going to be something that you don't desire. And so I realized that I was like, whatever this is, I don't want no parts because what's the what's the price? And so I'm still at the mercy of the marijuana because I can't move. My body is incapacitated, so I'm I'm like stuck. And they put on this DVD and they were gonna put Tupac Machiavelli, and I'm so glad they did. They didn't, because uh, I don't, I, I've never watched it. But I don't know if I would have been able to handle it looking back. But they put on Jay-Z Fade to Black. And I had never mm. seen that either. And so my eyes had blurried again, like right, right before they did that. And I told you I had 2020, they had blurred after the 2020. And when they focused again, it was like, I went past the natural and I was able to see spiritual things. Like straight up, I could just, I could see spirits. It was, it was crazy. And when they put the fade to black on, I had knowledge about things that nobody ever taught me. And so he started off and the, the camera was like, at, it was facing uh, the sky and it was talking about, you know, I gotta do this show, you know, a night when the stars is aligned. And before I do that, I gotta get everybody up to my level. And literally like audible voices. And I was saying it out loud. I was like, that's witchcraft. I was like, wait, how do I know that? And I was like, whatever, I'm tripping, I'm high. And this is my conversation to myself. I looked around to see if people, you know, were looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself. And so I'm conscious enough to know that what I'm seeing is not normal, but I'm still high. 
And so the DVD of Jay-Z Fade to Black consists of him showing his performance at Madison Square Garden about his retirement with the Black album. It's his retirement album. And it was showing the process of him making the, the, the album Fade to Black. And so when the camera showed Jay-Z, he had a snake inside of him. Mm. I'm talking about it was like about this it was like this big and the snake was colorful and it wasn't it wasn't saying anything or doing anything but it was just he was walking around and I could see the snake inside of him and the, and the tail the tail was moving a little bit it was like swaying like this man oh man oh man we already know that Jay-Z in that thing you know what I'm saying man oh man oh man and he was you could see him like you know seeing fast forward you can see him going like this through songs he's trying to find the right song he's uh narrated on the, on the on the dvd saying you know you got to find the right song he said if you get the right artist with the right song and you crack the door open he said god will come in he was lying because it wasn't the god of the bible it was the god of this world which is satan right. and he was he found the song and the snake that I was watching the whole time, because I was looking to see if anybody else saw it, but it was just me, the snake started speaking like at a real fast rate. It started going like this, like real fast, real fast. And he looked like he was possessed, like I was when I was dancing. And he started mumbling. And he went in the studio and he did the song after that happened. And he said, I don't know what y'all call it, man. I call it my magic moment. And I was about to cry and go crazy because what was happening to me at that time was I was realizing that Satan is real. And I was realizing that I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. I, I felt this dread, this fear, this weight of, of my condition. If I was to die right now, where I would go, and it was not heaven. And it was not, it was a horrible feeling. But I'm still at the mercy of this marijuana. And at the time I, 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 I catch the ride with my friends so when they're ready to go i gotta go you know i'm not gonna be able to go until they're ready and so i'm still there and i'm watching him in, engage with all the people throughout the whole fade to black uh, documentary and he goes and he's doing this performance and he's doing this performance with masses of people and he's telling them to throw their hands up and he He had Mary J. Blige come out there. And the way Mary J. Blige sang to Jay-Z was like she was worshiping a God. It was like she was worshiping God. It was it sounded like like when you're in the choir and you have a solo and you sing to God. But it was to a man. And it, it, it was it was to this, it was to Jay-Z. And I was understanding because we idolized Jay-Z growing up. In my time, we we idolized him. And, and you don't realize what that word means. You literally put him on a pedestal that you worship him. And then he said, throw, in your hand, throw your hands up. And everybody would just throw their hands up. And so I'm trying to get out of this room. That's, that's my goal at the time. I'm watching the DVD, but I want to get away from it as far as possible. But I can't. And so I get as close to the door, the exit. I get as close as I can. And he said, everybody get your hands up. And I felt this force come under my hands and try to lift my hands up. And something inside of me snapped. And I went like, no, it's only one God. And I was like, wait, why did I just say that? And when I looked to my left, all of my friends had their hands up. They looked like zombies. It was the most 
frightening thing you ever want to see. Everybody's face was pale. It was a whole bunch of weed smoke. But in the midst of that weed smoke, I saw other spirits there. I saw that we weren't alone. I saw that, man, they were leading us to hell. Right. I'm to get choked up now because it was so, so real. I cannot explain to you that the spirit realm is more real than the natural realm. And I saw that. And I was like, okay, I, I got to go home. I got to get home. And that was the only thing that was keeping me from like breaking. It was like, I had to use all my strength. It was the grace of God. I had to use all my strength not to just snap and just break down and just lose it because I was about to lose my mind. And so we finally get ready to go. The album is finally done. I even saw Kanye West. I saw Kanye West on the album, how he looked how, on the DVD, how he looked up to Jay-Z, how he came out with this song called Lucifer Son of the Morning. That was, it was on the documentary. I'm trying to leave and I just keep seeing things that are confirming how real Satan is. Mm -hmm. And it was, and, and Jay-Z went and he was rapping and he quoted a scripture from the Bible and he came outside and scratched his head and he said, word to my mother, I never read the Bible in my life. And I understood that Satan knows the word of God. He tempted Jesus with the word of God. I understood that he used to be an angel in heaven and that he failed. I understood that he could possess somebody and that they could potentially speak something that they didn't learn themselves because they're being possessed by a spirit that knows everything that's going through their mouth. And he said, I wet y'all all with the holy water. And when I perish, the meek shall inherit the earth until that time is on and popping church. I understood that he meant that he, the devil knows he's going to perish. But until that time, I'm going to get as many people to go to hell as possible. It's on and popping. Church. Everything he was saying, I understood the spiritual consequences and the ramifications behind it. I knew that this was not a game. That these songs, these rap artists, these people that do these songs under the influence of the devil are waging war yeah. against <clears throat> the saints of God, yeah. against humanity. He already has humanity entrenched um, in sin and, and bondage by the spirit of disobedience. And they're already by nature children of wrath. So he already has them. He's waging war against the people that are already believers and the people that potentially could become believers. So he wants to keep you bound so he wages war through music through temptations through things that will keep you doing what will get you to hell and so i also understood because i felt it the intense hatred that they have for humanity the way the devil feels about you is beyond comprehension all right, guys, man, that's, that's the end of the video. I'm going to put the link down in the description to this video if y'all want to see the rest of it. But this is why you don't puff puff, you know what I'm saying, because it will send you to another dimension. And I heard several stories like his. Mm, that's something I don't want to go through, you know what I'm saying? Um, Some people enjoy their feelings. Some people like going through those type of doors, man, but... I want to stay exactly where I'm at. <laughs> and one thing that really caught my attention that he said that the that the uh, spiritual realm feels more really than a natural realm. So that can tell you of how much work we need to do in this natural realm, which is earth. So we can be able to see our father, man, who is in heaven, man. You know, but crazy, crazy story, man. Y'all comment down below exactly what y'all think. Don't do you know what i'm saying don't d don't do d r u g s 
you know, um, I felt like he was laced with something if he was just, you know, po puffing that, whatever the case may be, but, other than that, man, I'll put the link down in the description, y'all gonna watch this full testimony video, man, and at the end of the video, it's always say, stay inspired, stay motivated, stay grinding, to the next video, I'm out of here, peace.